Hi, it's Dave D, HHOTrucking.com. I want to uh, give you a, a preview look at uh, my monatomic hydrogen furnace or reactor or boiler. Depends on what uh, application you put it to. Uh, this is uh, getting ready for, for testing. Let me explain what we've got going here. First, we'll take a look a little closer. Okay, at the base there is the actual uh, reactor. It's a catalytic combustion chamber, a flameless. Uh, at the the bottom plug is actually a tungsten water fuel injector plug. Okay, the way this is set up there's uh, the option of using another one right there. So, the way this would work is that you'd be injecting hydrogen, pure hydrogen, under high pressure, and uh, it goes through a plasma arc. It's a plasma injector plug. In my uh, on my site, hhotrucking.com, I explain how this works in a lot more detail. Uh, let's see, we'll back up a little bit. The top part, well, mind you, this uh, has the capability, I believe, hasn't been tested yet, I believe it has the capability of generating enormous heat. Uh, and the biggest concern I have actually is that it might uh, melt down. <laughs> Uh, but at the top, assuming it doesn't melt, uh, I have a sodium-filled cylinder made out of stainless steel within this uh, housing. And that uh, is designed to uh, wrap copper coil around the housing. And that copper coil would have water flowing through it. In other words, it's a uh, monotube boiler. Uh, so the tremendous heat generated by the reactor flows up through. Uh, needless to say, there is no pollutants, so the, uh, the pure water vapor gas, whatever, comes right out the top. Uh, but meanwhile, I expect that, uh, that chamber with the, uh, the molten salt to uh, get quite hot. And uh, that will heat up the water and make steam. and. Uh, I believe it's going to be extraordinarily efficient, take very little power uh, to generate a lot of heat. Uh, there are a lot of different fittings on it. None of the fittings, of course, are connected, uh, but the primary ones are there's a fitting right on the plug, the plasma injector plug. Look right, right there. Can you see that? There. Whoops. <laughs> I think I just screwed up. Yeah, never trust an amateur to make a video. Anyway, uh, the fitting there can take high pressure water. I would use structured water. It could take uh, pure hydrogen gas, and then the top hydrogen injector plug, actually would be a, a plasma injector plug on the top one, could take pure oxygen. So my split gas PEM 1000 unit would be the perfect device to test this, because you can actually compress that hydrogen to 3,000 pounds safely, so uh, any amount of pressure that's needed is perfectly uh, going to work with this plug in this system. As you can see, it's a super heavy duty the guy that built it for me, the machinist. He said, "Yeah, this is probably rated at about 50,000 psi or more." <laughs> so, anyway, that's it. I'm looking for a uh, a skilled circuit builder, electronics guy that will build a Murakami plasma generator. You know, create a circuit for plasma spark plug. 
and uh, there's other other work obviously that needs to be done that's uh, le electronic so uh, anybody who's really got the skills and wants to be part of this uh, this project you know go to HHO trucking look up my phone number give me a call and uh, this will I'll be building this uh, and testing this on uh, on an island in the Caribbean so you'd have to be willing to travel and actually it'd be working for me uh, we'll work out a deal that you can't resist I'm sure so this is Dave D thanks for watching I hope you got something out of it and we'll see if we can test this uh, this monster and get some uh, get some results okay Dave D bye